The UK faces a growing housing crisis. Amidst the backdrop of recession, fewer homes are being built today than at any time during the last century. With a rising population, demand is outstripping supply. The construction industry must build more homes quickly, cheaply and in a sustainable way. building research establishment is working in partnership with industry to find and showcase innovative solutions to meet current and future housing needs. BRE stands for Building Research Establishment. We're a large multidisciplinary testing research and consultancy business. We're part of the BRE Trust, a charitable organisation, and we operate across the UK to improve the building sector and construction industry. BRE Innovation Park first started in 2005 at our head office in Watford. The, the parks were set up to showcase the very best buildings and construction to meet the new challenges of both climate change, carbon reduction commitments that the UK government is needing and off-site delivery of buildings. We were very keen to have a park in Scotland which reflected the, the Scottish industry, its history and its innovation as it moves forward. Um, we were also very keen that it was distinct from what BRE has done in its other parks um, so we identified some key themes which we wanted to develop the park under. Those were energy, sustainability, community and affordability. Formerly the home of a massive steelworks, Ravens Creek is set to become Scotland's first new town in more than 50 years. The site is one of the largest regeneration projects in Europe and over the next 20 years, 3,500 new homes will be built here to house more than 10,000 new residents. Ravenscraig is also home to BRE's Scottish Innovation Park. The park will include nine plots, each showcasing innovative products, approaches and technologies. At the heart of the park will be the BRE Visitor Centre. Well, the BRE Visitor Centre is the, the main building on the, on the Innovation Park and it was very important from BRE's point of view to make sure that that building in particular had va high, very high levels of performance in terms of its, its energy performance, in terms of its sustainability and also in its use of, of sustainable and innovative materials. The brief is quite a simple brief, so we, we set out with a vision to keep a very simple building but to demonstrate products in a very elegant way. Um, we'd looked at using different types of materials, for instance we've used reconstituted stone on the external skin of this particular building and we've demonstrated new, new Scottish timber products within the building as well. The use of Scottish timber for this type of building is not very common, in fact it's quite uncommon. Um, we've purposely went out of our way to try and use what is quite a low grade material, material that Scotland doesn't currently export and demonstrate it in a way that's both innovative and hopefully will open up markets to Scottish companies. BSW Timber is the largest sawmilling business in the UK, employing 900 people in six mills. BSW supply timber components for the visitor centre from their Boat of Garton and Fort William sawmills. In order for BSW to supply the timber components to the, this project, we rely on uh, sound forest management practices, which indeed the Scottish forest industry has perfected over the last hundred years or so. Uh, we're able to therefore source third-party certified logs, bring these to our various sawmills, where we then engage with uh, state-of-the-art laser scanning technology and high-speed sawing lines to ensure that we optimise the value of those logs that have taken 30 or 40 years to grow in the forest. We break those logs down into the green sawn lumber. We then take the green sawn timber that we've produced and add value to that material by kiln drying it and then planing it and grading it. Those processes involve a mixture of biomass heat which we supply uh, with our own waste product to burn in the biomass boiler as well as very latest technology employing X-ray and uh, electromagnetic uh, fields to 
uh, scan and grade the sawn timber. We then plane the timber to ensure we're producing a product of the highest precision that off-site manufacture require. With the knowledge that we now are armed with from participating in this particular project, we see a great opportunity for Scottish timber in realising its true potential in the construction sector. The use of Scottish timber offers a highly sustainable alternative to traditional construction techniques. Trees absorb and store CO2, and with sustainably managed forestry techniques, this is very much a renewable resource. The timber's good thermal properties improve energy efficiency and operational performance. And of course, timber sourced in Scotland travels fewer miles to its final destination. BRE and the Visitor Centre design team were keen to explore and demonstrate the benefits of off-site manufacturing. Whilst off-site manufacturing of buildings is common in mainland Europe, it is less so in the UK. One leading Scottish manufacturer is Glasgow-based CCG Group, who have recently invested heavily in the process. CCG Group is uh, one of Scotland's most uh, innovative construction organisations. Um, we currently employ nearly 700 people. Um, we have a, a Glasgow base, uh, our campus is based in, in Canvas Lang, uh, and fairly recently we invested significantly in our timber frame off-site manufacturing capability. For us, off-site manufacturing encompasses a closed panel timber frame, um, large panel pre-fitted uh, with um, all the normal components, uh, windows, doors, insulation, services um, that you would normally fit on site, we fit in a factory. The CCG plant can produce more than 1,500 closed panel homes per year. For the visitor centre, the same technology drastically reduced construction time, with all work being completed in a quality controlled off-site environment using cutting edge technology. The process is streamlined and efficient. First, the architect's design drawings form a wireframe model. Then, the CCG design team can itemise and schedule every individual component that will be required for construction. On manufacturing day, this information is sent digitally to the production line. Each component is cut to specification by state-of-the-art machinery. Once sawn, they are sent to the production line for assembly. Each closed panel is fabricated one after the other. With OSM, it is possible to pre-fit windows, doors, services, lining boards and cladding in a factory environment. In the case of the visitor centre, the building comprises six closed wall panels, seven roof cassettes, as well as the internal wall panels. For the visitor centre project, CCG are testing an innovative insulation product from Knauf Insulation called the Perimeter Plus Superfill System. A blown glass fibre product, the system is highly thermally efficient, meeting future building regulations. Costs are minimised because the insulation is integrated with the rest of the off-site process. The main innovation with the Perimeter Plus Superfill system that we have um, is normally an on-site installed system. So what we've done here is actually brought it into an off-site environment within the CCG factory to work it into their process. Obviously we've brought a mobile system Long term, the potential is that that could be included within a, a part of the CCG system in their production line. Thanks to the CCG approach to production, it took just eight hours to manufacture all the closed panels and roof cassettes. On completion, each component is shrink-wrapped and stored safely until the construction site is ready to accept delivery. This approach has several key benefits. We can build to a much, much better quality in the factory because you're not as reliant on the various different issues to do with quality of skills or materials or weather on site. We can go much faster um, and we can make the process of delivering those buildings uh, much, much more cost effective. By May, the site works are complete and the timber frame is delivered on two lorries. A crane is ready and work on erecting the building can begin. As you can see, we've done the groundwork over the last 12 months and we're now in the process of establishing and build, put, erecting the visitor centre. 
which uh, will be the main hub from which the, all the activities on the Innovation Park will operate. And the key for this is to have it as a, as a centre whereby all our partners can interact and we can interact with industry and government and agencies to support them to improve the standards that they want to achieve. The wall panels are lifted into position one by one, with a small team of tradesmen on site to oversee the process, guiding and fixing the panels as they are dropped into place. As each panel is placed in position, the next is lifted in and slotted next to it. By early afternoon, the exterior walls are all in place and the team can start work lifting the internal walls into the building. Personally, it's absolutely a delight because uh, the sun is shining, the building's going up, it's all going very smoothly and it just shows what can be done with really a, a highly designed and engineered uh, solution to a building and we really look forward to getting on here and start operating the park from the park here at Reagan's Creek. Thanks to off-site manufacturing, the exterior walls and roof have been erected in a single day ready much more quickly to allow the follow-on trades to begin work. But the innovation doesn't stop with off-site manufacturing. To make the visitor centre as energy efficient as possible, a range of new products are being installed throughout, from floor to ceiling. When we set out on the design process for this um, building, you know, our, our aim was like let's high for, head for the highest rating that we possibly can, which was being outstanding. There are products uh, out there that we know that can help us achieve that. So we really kind of wanted to be forward, you know, forward looking and making sure that we were getting those new and innovative products into this building. The project supply chain partners were key to its successful completion, and for the partners. Their involvement provided the opportunity to test and showcase innovative new products in a real-world setting. For example, the global chemical company BASF supplied Mastertop, an epoxy-based solvent-free flooring solution which can be poured directly onto the concrete base to create a seamless and highly durable surface. Again, the process was completed in a single day. BASF also worked in partnership with Armstrong, who specialise in sealing solutions, creating an innovative suspended sealing system that improves energy efficiency. Here we have a, a metal tile that would, standard, uh, would go into a standard building. Um, the only difference with the, the visitor centre is we are using an energy saving insert, the um, Micronal insert from BASF. When the temperature in the room rises above a defined threshold, say 23 degrees, the product goes through a phase change and the wax in incorporated in the product melts and during that process absorbs the latent heat from the room. When the temperature then decreases, say night below that threshold, the heat um, that is stored in the product is then released back into the room. Through that um, active temperature management, it provides a more comfortable working and living environment. These types of products are, are very important. I think energy saving is the, the, the big driver here. Uh, and with that, if we can save energy, we're, we're saving people money. So it's in their, their interest to do that. By early September, the building has its official opening. Invited guests, supply chain partners and Cabinet Minister Alex Neil are all in attendance. This is an absolutely critical project because it makes Scotland the world capital for green housing innovation and construction. And this is not just a big day for Ravenscraig and Lanarkshire, it's a big day for Scotland because it opens up a whole new market for us with huge job and investment opportunities for us here in Scotland. This gives us the lead in the global market. Of the building a great success, 
there's time for the project leader to reflect on all the hard work behind the project. Seeing the building coming out of the ground and being completed is, I think, more than matched our expectations. We had very high aspirations in terms of what the building should achieve. We've been very pleased with, with how it was constructed, the support of the industry and the final product, which I think provides a very pleasant interior space, uh, a very contemporary building and something which I think the industry will want to be associated with. We've got to the point now where we're physically in the building, it's in the park, it's, um, it's a testament to the hard work that all the different teams have put into it and it does give you immense pride to have been part of that process and to now have a completed building that meets the targets that, that it set out to do initially uh, and in time yeah, hopefully it'll, it'll prove to be a, a good uh, example for this type of project uh, in the future. very proud to be involved in this building and we see it as a catalyst uh, for the wider park as well. Hopefully we've, we've set a standard that the other plot holders can, can aim towards um, as well. And we're, we're very proud to be involved in the BRE as well, um, a group that really targets and pioneers new products in, in the UK. We're proud of that association. BRE at Ravenscraig provides physical proof that a sustainable, low-carbon construction industry can succeed in Scotland using local materials and technology. Innovations like those exemplified here at one of Scotland's biggest new housing projects can inspire the architects, builders, designers and manufacturers of the future. <laughs>